You're looking at that slime, aren't you? It's because it's the only thing on the screen, that's right. Hey, hey, everybody, this is Etho. Are you guys all ready to sing your ABCs? D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and 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 Zed. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I had this idea the other day. I, w I was wondering if I could represent all the letters in the English alphabet within a 3x3 three three block space in Minecraft. And this is what I came up with. And they're actually pretty clear, you know. Or I think they're pretty readable. I especially like the R. R is very cool. Um, so yeah, if you guys need tiny fonts for anything in Minecraft, this is... Probably one of the smallest ways you can do it, and actually like place blocks to do it. Um, thought I would share. I hope you find this useful for whatever on earth you have to spell out. And yeah, well that brings us to our world here today. And you know I'm in a building and terraforming mood today. I think we're gonna take a break from redstone. Uh, or at least I think we're going to. So, this has been a scar <laughs> in my world for a long time. This big hole here. That keeps getting bigger. And this is where I got a bunch of sand when I first started in this world. And then I moved on to another place that I don't mind wrecking. But this is really close to the man cave. So what we're going to do... So we're going to try to fill this in as much as we can today, if not um, all of it. And I'm just going to do one thick of dirt, like so, all the way through. And then we might have a room underneath, or at least light it up or something. I don't know. It, I kind of like this area for testing because it's a big, flat area. Um, but we would like to be able to walk over it. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to try to collect all the, the soil I have together and fill this baby in. And actually the best way of probably doing this is to go out in rows like this. And then every three or four blocks do that so that we have something to actually place blocks against when filling it in. Makes it much easier. All right, well, it's going very well here. We just about got it all done. I have to go for one more load of soil, and it will be enough to finish it. There's just this one area left. Um, but it's going to look a lot better, I think, in this area. This is, however, desert, so this grass is going to be like that color, not, not that color. So what can you do? We'll get used to it. I prefer like desert grass over sand, to be honest. Level that one out. Alright. Uh, these sheep, I've dyed them this color for the build project I have planned for today. We're going to work on that library, I think. And I'm going to be. <laughs> I'm going to try and mix up uh, some weird colors together and see how it goes. It's a style I've never tried before. Uh, gonna need cyan wool, gonna need clay, um, possibly quartz blocks, and a lot of stone bricks and stuff. And we will see how that goes, but we'll get to that pretty soon. Just gonna finish up here. And then we gotta transition this to, hmm. I've been AFK here for a good 30 minutes or so. Let's check out how the grass is doing. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's almost all spread. That's good. Oh, man. Look at the grass, though. That's a big difference, isn't it? Hmm. It's not bad. Once we grow, like, tall grass, like, put bone meal on it and all that, it'll look good. Uh, one thing I noticed, though, when I was working on this, there's a lot of mobs spawning down below, and let's <laughs> let's just go check that out real quick. 
Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of mobs. Oh, dang. Okay. I've had brighter ideas in my day. <laughs> Man. I'm tempted to make a mob system, like, in this area, too. Like, not a drop one. Maybe, like, one of the old mob evader styles, because I really like those. And the spawn rates are good. Most of the caves must be lit up. Uh, I haven't even tried to light them up, and it looks like... Like, sure, I was AFK for a long time here, but it was like this even before that. <sighs> oh. Oh, that's not going to do it. <laughs> uh, we'll do that. I think I gave him a passage up. Yeah, they're on top of me, I think. <laughs> did they get in? Oh, they did get in. Look at that. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here. Actually, let's go together. It's not that far of a walk. It's got an enchanted bow. I'll clean this up later. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go over to our library area. <sighs> I'm tempted to go there to pick up the tracks and stuff, though. How bad is it? It's pretty bad. Maybe if we ender pearl. <laughs> it will be a terrible idea. We gotta try it though. Oh, there's a skeleton here, darn it. I don't see any of my uh, stuff. Where is it? Did you get blown up after it got blown up? Or did nothing get blown up? Nothing got blown up. Okay, never mind. I want out. See you guys. <laughs> uh, quick pillar, quick, quick. Excellent. We're gonna go. Which way is it? Up over to the library area over this way, I believe. If my bearings are right, we're looking for that floating island again. I don't have feather falling boots. I gotta do so, some big enchanting again because I, I don't have any work picks. I'm using a Fortune 3 one, which is a bit wasteful. Up there. We are going to build the library uh, not on the floating island. We're going to build it on the mountain so we'll have more space to work. I think it was up there I, I had my eye on. See, let's just check this out real quick. Um, yeah, right here. This is it. I marked it with a torch. So, what we're gonna do? Um, let's. I think we're gonna level this out a fair bit. It, make a nice big open flat area to work, and we'll we'll build it with the front facing this like towards us and if we need more space we can clear out more of the mountain um, as we need to because otherwise like I would like to build on the floating island there but it's just not big enough let's go check that out one more time it's over here wait I thought it was over here this is it yeah and it's not really flat this thing either be a bit hard to shape mmm dirt nom 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 well I think I got a nice little area prepared here to begin with um, we'll need to clear more land for sure um, and flatten the area out a bit I've been placing cobble as filler and just covering over um, but this this will get us started. We can work on the front at least. Uh, and I marked this as our center. And I believe I got all the blocks transported over here that we'll need. Um, there was a zombie villager, by the way, that spawned up here. And he had protection 2, thorns 1. I was, like, fighting him. And I started taking damage. And that kind of surprised me because I've never seen that before. Uh, they can get thorns on their, on their gear. 
And uh, yeah, yeah, one of the materials we're going to build with is quartz. I just want to show you something I kind of clued into a little while ago, which I'm sure other people have too, but this is really neat. Uh, quartz blocks on their own. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> they're awesome. I love them. It's a great addition. Great block. Um, but with with the pillar quartz block and the chiseled quartz block, uh, especially the pillar one though, uh, you can do some pretty neat subtle patterns with it. Like, for example, um, one side, like this is what the pillar block looks like. So you got the stripes on the side, but this is really neat. Like it has almost like a wood grain, like like the logs have this this square look on the top. So hopefully it's not too bright on YouTube. Uh, you can actually see what I'm talking about here. But you can make some pretty cool patterns with that. That are you know they're nice and subtle. Uh, or you can for example, lay them sideways and come up with a ton of other patterns as well. Let's just check that out real quick. Uh, they're a bit <laughs> of a pain to place, but you can do something like this, for example. And, you know, on, on a large scale, that would look pretty neat. But anyway... Library, library. I don't know how to build a library, really. I looked, I did a Google image search for libraries and nothing really stood out to me like, I gotta build this. <laughs> so we're probably gonna make something a little weird here. And it's just, oh, you know what I never grabbed is my wool. I'll be right back. So what I'm kind of planning with this is like uh staircase entrance with an archway over top you know I love my arches and like two big windows one on the left one on the right with like support columns and that sort of thing I want to try to use clay for around the windows I've done that before and it looks really good and maybe maybe a path yeah let's do the stairs out of quartz so we will have a path that goes up to the library and we will start that, I guess, just over here. <laughs> uh, I don't know exactly where's the best place for it, but this will do. And fill this with quartz. Actually, wait, let's do that pattern. Get a pattern going. Um, we'll just do the checker one. I like that one. Whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It's just, I like clicked once and my game froze and placed a bunch. Alright, so I, I'm I don't usually use wool in my builds, but you know, if you have just one color it can do a whole lot. Especially like I like building with stone bricks a lot and like grey color stuff. And if you don't have one thing with color and it doesn't really work. So that's what I'm hoping the wool is going to do. And we're going to try carry the, the blue or the cyan wool look throughout the build. So let's let's try <laughs> put it around the outside here. Which actually works good because if you think about it, the mountain grass is sort of bluish tinged. So maybe that, maybe this isn't a terrible idea. It's it's gonna be a weird library. <laughs> All right, um, arch. Let's get the arch going. We'll make it go over top here. Uh, or wait, hmm. Foundation. How how about a foundation? Let's. How's it look if we do this? And get this over top. And I feel like we can't have the wool on the ground, though. So if we do that. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, 
Let's maybe move this arch back then. Okay, <laughs> uh... See, I'm tempted sometimes to plan stuff more so in creative and just copy it, but at the other, on the other hand, then there's no spontaneity. Spot, I'm not going to be able to say the word spontaneity. No, that's not the right way of saying it. Spontaneity. <laughs> oh, why can't I say that word? I know what the word is. I just can't see it now. How's that look? Uh, let's get a stair here, one there, and then, yeah, we'll make a quartz staircase that starts going up here. Uh, where should we start the actual walls to this thing is the next question. Hmm. Maybe this type of arch, a little smoother. Yeah, that's better. Okay, the windows and the walls. Let's let's start those. Ah, you know what? I kind of think we should move that arch back one more. Like over here. One second. All right, we can always adjust it again later if we need to. But uh, what I've tried before in creative is I had like a stone brick slab in front of a clay block uh, window. <laughs> uh, and it looked really cool. Like, uh, let's, let's just do this. Let's uh, uh, maybe one more. We'll try that. So you have like clay blocks running down, but you can only see the top half like that, and we'll have, maybe let's just try quartz for this as a border. We'll, we'll probably have to change that though, um, or like a transition to the clay block. One, two, three, four, yeah. Run it along the top as well, and then we'll put these slabs at the top as well. Um, then what I would like to do is kind of have an overhang balcony type thing above like what I'm placing right now if that works out. Kind of like that and I also used this stuff to hide the clay like the vertical clay blocks a little bit like uh, like that. Okay, and window, window pane, we will put over here. Uh, we're getting close to the edge of the world here. <laughs> I might not have enough space for this build, we'll see. Oop. And good. Let's just go take a nap here quick nap, power nap, and yeah, I guess I'll just build this building uh, one side and then at the time and then uh, do the other side off camera because it'll just be a copy. Okay, we'll move, or we'll put this here. How far do we want it to extend? Like I wanted, I wanted columns as well. Actually, if we brought this out one more block, that might be better, and have like that there. Make this come up, and then block there, and we'll do that every fourth block to break it into three wide sections. Ah, I fell down. <laughs> um, where is that? Over here. We'll tr we'll try this out. We'll take a step back and see what it looks like. And if I'm getting too carried away with one type of block, let me know. Like I might get a little overboard with uh, the 
the wool or something as I'm building this. I'm not, I'm not really good at judging <laughs> looks of stuff. Okay, that's cool. And then we'll bring these slabs out a bit more. Like so. And we should go maybe one more column. I'm going to extend this a little bit more off camera. One second again. All right. Well, I tried putting these stairs in front of the wall for the foundation. And that I actually really like the look of that. So we're going to keep that. Uh, this quartz, <laughs> it's definitely not working. So we're getting rid of that. I tried stone brick. It's, it's kind of okay. I also wanted to try these... Uh, stone slabs although I'm kind of scared to introduce a new type of block but when you got so many different ones maybe it doesn't matter anyway <laughs> um, let's just see what this looks like maybe 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 uh, the other idea I had is bear with me this might be a bit crazy Instead of having stone brick there, we put wool there, give it more color. Make it stand out quite a bit more. Although I think then we have to put some more slabs in front of the wool to hide that. Mm, yeah, that could be cool. Let's let's try this out. Let's put some more slabs. Or we could move the columns back as another option. That way you only see half of the wool block. If you see the full wool block on the top, it doesn't look right. Oops. <laughs> hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, okay, staircase. Let's work on the staircase some. We will... I made the quartz stairs already. I think what we should do is have a mix of the stone stone brick stairs and quartz stairs. And we'll start it uh, maybe here. Yeah, we'll try there first. No, let's let's move it back one more. We'll start it here. And it will go up kind of like this. Uh, let's get some of these. <laughs> this is all experimental. If we don't like something, we can change it. Oh no, that's that's way too close. We gotta move that back. Okay, and then we're gonna put the quartz stairs in between. Uh, one stair back sort of thing. Like that, so... Should look pretty cool. Okay, let's just take a step back and see what that looks like. Yeah, I, I, I like that. Um, maybe I'll mess a little bit more off camera here. Let's see where it get, that gets us. Okay, well I did a little bit more here and I duplicated it on the other side. Uh, we'll probably have to leave it at this for today. We got a bit done anyway. Now I tried <laughs> I tried mirroring this at the top and I think that's too much wool now. Possibly. Um, one thing we could do is use quartz blocks at the top there. See we gotta get lighting in here somehow as other things, so I, I thought about putting glowstone there, but then we need a block thickness at least up there. Because I, I wanted that to be like the balcony or the, the an area you could go to look down, you know. And this works if we have like a half slab here. It could cover up everything we have here. And if we walk forward, we don't fall off. We even have a, a better view, actually. So could be a good idea. Anyway, if you guys have ideas, let me know. Um, hopefully you don't think it's too hideous. <laughs> I have weird taste. I actually like this build. Um, but that's just me. So far, anyway. 
Okay, let's go read some comments. Just one really quick question for today, everyone. He says, uh, you should be able to put books in bookshelves. Triple exclamation mark. Oh my goodness. Like nine books each, perhaps. Uh, so there is a trick you can do. You can push a storage minecart into a bookshelf, and then when you right-click the bookshelf block, uh, it accesses a minecart, and you don't actually see the minecart. So you just use pistons to push it into place. That's one way you can do it. Um, the reason why they wouldn't do that n normally in Minecraft, like, the downside of of them doing that is then they gotta save it as a tile entity in the world file, which, you know, increases data and all that. And most people use it for decoration, so if you have hundreds or thousands of them in your world, <laughs> uh, that's that's a big overhang you know for something you're not actually using so that's that's kind of the reasoning behind it I believe uh, but anyway that is all for today everyone thank you very much for watching I will see you again next time